need to learn about hibernation. Hibernation is a word that you will hear in your classes about what animals do in the wintertime, some animals, and it means they sleep or mostly sleep through the winter to save energy so they don't have to keep looking for food because it's hard to find food when um, the trees aren't blooming and when it's, there's snow on the ground, it's actually snowing out today. I don't know if you can see it out my window, but so a lot of the animals will sleep through most of the winter so that they don't need to look for food. Some animals will migrate. That means they'll go somewhere where it's warmer. A lot of birds do that. You probably saw that in the fall. But we're going to be learning about animals that hibernate. And this first book is about a, an animal that everybody knows hibernates for most of the winter. They eat a lot of food before the winter comes and then they can sleep for most of the winter. They're bears. And this book is called Old Bear by Kevin Hankus. He's one of my favorite authors and illustrators. And I just love these end papers with the beautiful brown leaves on them and the, and the, and the front end paper. And there's the bear watching the leaves fall. And uh, some snow coming down. This is published by Green Willow Books. Oh, and there he's going somewhere. Where is he going? By the time old bear fell asleep for the winter, it was snowing hard. It looks like he's in a cave or something here. Soon he was dreaming. He looks nice and snug in there though, huh? What do you think a bear would dream about? If you were cold, sleeping all winter, what would you dream about? He dreamed that spring had come and he was a cub again. The flowers were big as trees. He took a nap in a giant pink crocus. There he is imagining himself as a baby bear sleeping in a crocus. Then he dreamed that it was summer. The sun was a daisy and the leaves were butterflies. Sometimes the sun could almost look like that, a giant daisy. Part of the sky clouded over and it rained blueberries. Oh, what a fun dream. And blueberries do come out in the summertime and bears love them. <clears throat> Next, he dreamed of autumn, or sometimes we call it fall. Everything was yellow and orange and brown, even the birds and the fish and the water. That does have a lot of autumn or fall colors, right? And there's the little bear. After that, he dreamed that winter was back. The world was covered in ice. It was night, and the sky was blazing with stars of all colors. The cold went on forever. And I imagine it would feel like that to a little bear in the wintertime. The cold going on forever. Old bear slept and dreamed, dreamed and slept. And he turns over and he's sleeping, mostly just sleeping for days and days and weeks and weeks, even months. When he finally woke up, it seemed to him that no time had passed since he had fallen asleep. He yawned. Oh. And he stretched. Ah. He poked his head out of his den to see if it was still snowing. He blinked and then blinked again. I think he's surprised at what he sees. What do you think he sees? Is there still snow on the ground? And then Old Bear walked out into the beautiful spring day. It took him a minute to realize that he wasn't dreaming. How do you think he knows he's not dreaming? Maybe he can actually smell the flowers or maybe he can actually feel the grass or maybe because the flowers are all the right size, not giant, right? <laughs> and there goes old bear off into a wonderful, beautiful spring day. And I love that on the end papers here, we have the spring flowers. We went from autumn leaves to spring flowers. And that is a nice story about how a bear gets through the winter time, dreaming of spring and summer and fall, just like the rest of us, dreaming of warmer weather. Okay, the next story I have for you is really fun. It is a story, but then it also has some facts at the end that I'm going to read to you. So it has some information in it too. It's called Hibernation Station. And in this book, we're going to learn that not only bears hibernate, lots of other animals hibernate too. And you may be surprised by some of the ones that do. 
This book is written by Michelle Meadows and it's illustrated by Kurt Cyrus. And there you see a cozy bear and the raccoon. And I think that's a little chipmunk bear. They're all cuddled up together inside this log that seems to be on some train tracks. <clears throat> so it's imagining hibernation as a, as a journey that you have to take. And there we see an autumn scene with the orange leaves and fields and animals getting in their pajamas and heading off somewhere near the train tracks here. Hibernation Station. This book is published by Scholastic. Look at these raccoons and snails and little mice. Oh, snakes. All of them in their jammies, too. Fuzzy slippers, warm pajamas, forest babies, and their mamas. And I like how pajamas and mamas rhymes. Two words that sound alike. Show up early at the station. Time for winter hibernation. And we see more animals ready with their blankets and pillows. Oh, even the skunks. And they seem to be wearing some sort of pajamas that look like skunks. And here we have two rhyming words too, station and hibernation. Bats and chipmunks in the middle, bears and mice from big to little. And we see some frogs. Who else? Maybe a groundhog here, squirrel, a bat. All animals that are going to hibernate. And we have middle and little as our rhyming words. Groundhogs, turtles, snakes, and frogs slipping into holes and logs. Oh, we've got frogs and logs rhyming. Fluff the pillows, snuggle in, but then, what? What's going to happen? Commotion in a den. I cannot sleep, a black bear roars. My roommate rolls around and snores. Did you hear two rhyming words there? Roars and snores. And who's his roommate? Looks like it's some sort of groundhog. And the black bear is not happy with his noisy roommate. A groundhog cries, this hole's too tight. It's dark in here. I need more light. Do you see? Tight and light are the rhyming words. And I, I don't know if you can actually see. I just hear the noises coming out of that log. People fighting. Animals fighting. They need more room. Then, uh-oh, trouble near the stream. Well, there might be trouble near the stream, but there's also a beautiful rainbow near the stream. What does the conductor up here see? What's the trouble? Oh, actually, here's the conductor. That's the bear poking out. What's the trouble? The hedgehog babies start to scream. Oh, no, poor little hedgehog babies are screaming. Just when the beds begin to sink, two chipmunks cry, we spilled a drink. So maybe they're the cause of the mess. And while you're up, we need more snacks and bring more pillows for our backs. Snacks and backs, right? Just then a frog begins to moan. I'm scared to be down here alone. Moan and alone. So it seems like things are not going well on this train ride. All the animals at the hibernation, on the way to hibernation station, are getting, they're complaining that it's too tight, that they need more snacks. Some are frightened. Let's see. The bears in charge in railroad caps review the hibernation maps. So here's the conductor and the other the, they're in charge. And here's their map of where they're supposed to go. We've got caps and maps that rhyme. So they know where they're supposed to go. Come on, black bear, bring your shoes. Here's a quiet place to snooze. Maybe they decide that instead of trying to get this train to go, they're going to just stay right where they are. Let's see, what do you think? Come on, hedgehogs, warm and dry. Let's huddle for a lullaby. Drop. They rhyme. Looks like they're sort of going through the tree and they're going to just stay in the tree, maybe. Come on, chipmunks. Sip, sip, sip. Nibble, nibble. Drip, drip, drip. Some more fun rhyming words. Sip, drip. Maybe they're having their last little drink before bed, before hibernation. Blankets, pillows, extra snug. Come on, frog, you need a hug. Oh, where's that little frog? Oh, 
there he is. He needed a hug from the big bear because he was scared. And snug and hug on a chair. Climb on top and join the heap. They're all gonna sneak into that. We've got one big train log, a log train. Everyone soon is fast asleep. And here are all the animals cuddled in. I see a bear's nose and a chipmunk's nose and I see a bat and I see the rear end of another little animal sticking up. I don't know what that animal is. <laughs> They're all cuddled in to stay warm. And here we have an author's note that gives you some information about hibernation. Hibernation is a fascinating way that some animals are able to survive during winter when food becomes scarce. That means there's not a lot of food. Hibernation is commonly defined as a sleep-like state. To prepare for hibernation, some animals store food to eat periodically when they awaken, while others build up enough body fat so they are able to sleep all winter. Do you know animals that store food? Can you think of any animals you saw out in the fall gathering some acorns? Squirrels, right? Some scientists say that there are varying degrees of hibernation. For example, true hibernators experience a dramatic drop in body temperature, heart rate, and breathing. These animals, sometimes called deep sleepers, are hard to wake up in winter. Examples are bats and groundhogs, also known as woodchucks, so those animals are really asleep. Other animals, known as light sleepers, are easier to wake up. Examples are raccoons and skunks. While not considered true hibernators, they get sluggish, that means very slow in the winter, and often curl up in groups to sleep. And what is that? All aboard the train to the hibernation station. And it looks like they're all just going to sleep right inside the train. <laughs> and that is the end of that story. And I really like that one. Okay, so finally, we have some animals that hibernate in the winter and some places where they might hibernate. So first, I'm gonna put it up on the board and move this down so you can see. First we have a bear. Everybody knows that bears hibernate. They sleep all winter, right? Next we have a turtle. Did you guys know that turtles sleep all winter too? Or a mouse? No, a mouse might not sleep all winter, but they certainly get sluggish and they store food. Frogs, that's how they are able to survive out in the freezing cold. Bats, they, they hibernate all winter. And snakes, snakes. Now let's look at some places where animals hibernate. Some will hibernate in a cave, we've heard of that before. Some in logs. Some under plants in the water. Some in the mud near the water. Some way down deep in the water or just in the water when it freezes up. And some even in a house, which is sometimes where people like to hibernate too. <laughs> All right, so this song is called Time for Hibernation. It goes like this. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Big brown bear, big brown bear. Time for hibernation. What's your location? In a log, in a lair. A lair is another word for a place where an animal might dig out a hole for itself to sleep, usually under some logs. Okay, well, let's try this one. We'll do the bat. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Hanging bat, hanging bat. Time for hibernation. What is your location? What do you think? Where does the bat go? In a cave is where I'm at. See that? The bat will sleep inside a cave. Many bats together sleep all winter. Are you sleeping? Bing, are you sleeping? Garter snake, garter snake. Time for hibernation. What is your location? In the mud by a lake. So he's gonna burrow down into the mud and make a little warm spot for himself. 
on the other leg. Who's next? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, little green frog? Little green frog, time for hibernation. What is your location in a pond near a log? I'm sure there's near some lily pads and grasses too. It must be pretty warm over there. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Meadow Mouse? Meadow Mouse, time for hibernation. What is your location in a field by a house? So anything where that farmhouse is, and the grasses kind of left behind. The little mouse has been hiding. And who do we have left? Up oh, the turtle. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, turtle friend? Turtle friend, time for hibernation. What is your location in the stream till winter's end? And I think all the animals are going to stay in their hibernating spots until the end of the winter when spring comes. And that is the end of our hibernation song. All right, everybody, I will see you next week. I hope you're not hibernating too much inside your house, but staying warm anyway. I'll see you soon. Bye.